I'm going to take just a minute first and uh, talk about uh, what we've accomplished uh, in the last four years. Um, uh, we've completed 13 major roadway improvements, um, Baker Wills Parkway and Oak Street Interchange, Smith and Spencer Streets downtown, uh, Bean Street uh, by the park, uh, Eve Lane, Augusta Avenue, which was one of the very last gravel roads in the center of town. Uh, we finally paved. Sixth um, Street and Bruce Street were completed. Uh, Chestnut and Van Ronkel uh, were improved downtown. Stanley Russ Road was rebuilt and uh, Tyler Street uh, was improved. And um, in addition, we've uh, opened seven new roundabouts. Uh, four on Sixth Street at Ingram, First, Central Landing Boulevard and Amity. And then uh, one at College in Salem, which the county helped us with. Uh, and then two mini roundabouts, one at College and Country Club and one at Chestnut and Van Ronkel. Uh, we've also built four bridges, uh, the 6th Street overpass uh, at I-40, uh, two bridges crossing Tucker Creek at the, the Tyler Street Bridge and the Gatlin Park Bridge, as well as the Stone Dam uh, Trail overpass over Dave Ward. Uh, and then lastly, uh, we, probably the, the most ambitious thing that we've done is we've, uh, we've completed 99 asphalt overlays. And I'm going to work real hard to get one more in so we can have an even 100 before the year's out. Um, but all told, we have uh, placed over 100 lane miles of asphalt in the city of Conway uh, in the last four years so far. And, and I'm really proud of that. That's fantastic. Uh, well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed. Did you, did, really you, impressed. did you say the one at Irby in Salem? I don't know if you said that one or not. I just drove through that one. Yeah, I, well, I, 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 it. I know it's not completely finished, but man, it's it has made traffic so much smoother in this area. I will get to that. I will get I to don't that. Consider I don't that one to do that one yet. yet. <laughs> it's man, we're going through it. It, it works. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I think the police chief may be on here, so you're uh, you're driving and meeting at the same time. Uh, I hope I hope William Tapley doesn't come looking for you. <laughs> and I'm sorry too, Finley. Did you mention uh, Hillman and Davis? Maybe I didn't hear it. I'll get to that also. All right, my bad. You go. You're up. And no, no problem at all. Um, so I just want to ask real quick, do I have an echo? Is everybody hearing me okay? Good. Okay, good. Um, so yeah, I, I appreciate the compliments, but we don't want to rest on our laurels. So I'll tell you what we've got going on right now. Um, and uh, I'm going to share my screen for this. And uh, I don't have a fancy PowerPoint like uh, James does, but um, we're going to start on Donaghy Avenue. Uh, phase one, as you know, is under construction right now. Uh, and that extends from... Dave Ward to college. Uh, it's, it's currently being widened. The contractor is ahead of schedule and uh, we expect that phase of the project to be completed next fall. Um, now phase two extends from college about right here. Uh, phase one does include the roundabout at uh, college and Donaghy. And phase two will include two more roundabout roundabouts and will extend to Prince where there will be a roundabout. There will also be one at Caldwell. Um, Conway Corporation is set to begin utility relocation by the end of the year for phase two and construct, construction is scheduled to complete on phase two once phase one has been completed. Um, now, uh, I'm going to show you very quickly um, what Donaghy is going to look like. Um, so this is the, um, I'm going to scroll up just a little bit here. There we go. Uh, so on the southern section, starting at Dave Ward, uh, Donaghy is going to have the first buffered bike lanes in Conway. We're excited about that. It's going to have bollards uh, to separate the cyclists from, from the travel lanes. We don't have a street sweeper that will fit in that space. So UCA has very kindly and graciously offered to help us to, um, to keep those clean. Uh, as you move north, uh, the street gets narrower and we're not, we're only rebuilding the section south of Robbins. Um, and so we're utilizing the existing pavement to put in a, a bike, a buffer bike lane on the west side of the road, but we're going to put in a cycle track on the east side of the road and it'll be separated from the sidewalk by a brick inlay. And then as you move further north, uh, 
the bike lane will drop at College Avenue and you'll have cycle tracks on both sides. Uh, so that's what you can expect to see on Donaghy after it has been completed. Um, I'm gonna go back to my Google Earth here. Uh, and we've talked a lot about Markham Street already. As you know, phase one is under construction uh, and that extends from Van Ronkel to Walnut, which is right there. Uh, everybody see Google Earth? Not if you can see Google Earth. Okay, good. Um, and uh, that uh, Conway Corporation and Centerpoint Energy are currently working to complete the utility relocation of that first phase. Uh, they're also working on the same second phase kind of at the same time. Um, construction of that first phase is about 50% complete and is scheduled to be completed in the spring of next year. Um, phase two, which will go from Walnut right here uh, all the way to Hark Rider, uh, is uh, scheduled to commence. Uh, you know, we'll let that project before phase one is completed, uh, and and uh, it is it should commence uh, right about the same time that phase one is com is completed. Uh, and the whole project, uh, phases one and two, should be completed. I would say probably early 2022. Um, now. That project is similar to Dave Ward in the sense that it's got cycle tracks also. You might remember that this was a Metro plan grant uh, and it required uh, several things. Uh, one of them being that it had to be bicycle friendly and pedestrian friendly. So it's gonna have cycle tracks on both sides of the road separated from the sidewalk by a brick inlay. It's also gonna have bios whales, uh, which is gonna work in tandem very well with the uh, Markham Street water quality project. So we're excited about that one. Now, um, Salem and Irby, we talked about just a moment ago. Uh, the construction here is ahead of schedule and it, uh, it is, uh, the final paving is, is expected to be completed here next week. Uh, and it, the project will be completely wrapped up uh, in, probably in the middle of next month. And this is what it looks like right now. Uh, of course, many of you have seen it already because you've, some of you have driven through it, but this is what it'll look like when it's done. And uh, I've already heard uh, a lot of compliments on this. We're, we're really excited. And, and I've really got a, my hats off to the contractor and Conway Corporation. They worked really fast on this one and kept traffic moving and they've done a really good job. So now we're gonna go to Hillman. Another one that the mayor mentioned uh, street crews are working out here right now. This is where it is. Uh, utility relocation and drainage uh, installation are underway currently. And uh, we expect that to be done um, early to mid summer. Um, so a, a few other things we're working on. We're working on a bunch of grant projects right now. Uh, Stone Dam Trail phase one uh, is a grant project we won from RDOT that takes us from Mimosa uh, to Donaghy, it actually takes us, that phase of the project will take us underneath Donaghy um, and, uh, and construction is scheduled to begin this spring. Um, now phase two of this project, uh, which we have a current grant application uh, to RDOT out right now and we hope to hear back uh, favorably on that. Uh, if awarded, that will extend the project all the way, all the way down to South German. Um, so another roundabout we're working on is Tyler and Salem. Right there. Uh, we're, our design is at about 60% on this right now. Uh, we're currently working on uh, our, our right-of-way plans and legal descriptions. If you're at home and you're listening to this and you live on one of those corners, don't panic. You're gonna hear from me very soon. Uh, we have almost got the legal descriptions complete and, and uh, you'll be hearing from us. Conway Corporation is scheduled to begin utility relocation uh, at this intersection um, early next year and construction will commence as soon as they're out of the way. Um, incidentally, I will have, uh, I've got some preliminary plans on the website right now uh, that show this, but I will, I'll update those plans on the website shortly to show a, a much better drawing of what that's gonna look like. The next one after that will be College and Ferris. And uh, 
you guys are all seeing Google Earth still, I hope. I'm still looking at good. Uh, so College and Ferris, we're, we're uh, just about done with the preliminary design on this one. We'll be contacting property owners early next year to start talking about acquisition. And we expect construction on this one to begin in 2022. Uh, another one that we're all very excited about is the roundabout at Hogan and Old Moralton. Uh, we finally convinced RDOT to build a roundabout at this location and they're scheduled to commence in 2022 as well. Um, one that we talked about, we've been talking about for quite a while is the, uh, the new bridge over Tucker Creek on Salem Road. As, as you guys know, uh, this bridge is uh, very much in need of improvement. It's not bicycle or pedestrian friendly. So we recently applied for a grant to Metro Plan to replace this bridge and I'm, I anticipate a favorable award there. Um, if awarded, uh, um, construction is scheduled to begin no later than early 2022. Um, now, once that bridge has been replaced, the next thing will be to improve the entirety of Salem Road from college to Dave Ward. Uh, that project will begin once the bridge has been replaced. Uh, and so I would expect this project to begin late 2022. Um, Finley, will the, uh, Finley, excuse me, just a second. No problem. Well, when we put the new bridge at Salem and Tucker Creek in, uh, we reroute the uh, bike uh, pathway to go underneath or, or are we still going to have that uh, at surface grade? I'm so glad you asked that. I had intended to mention that the trail will go underneath the new bridge yeah uh, and Thank the uh, the existing signal that we have there will be relocated uh, to another location uh, probably either college or Hogan okay. um, so we can use that existing hardware elsewhere good Thank you for that question. That was You're welcome. And and what is going to happen to Salem Road? Can you tell the people that uh, that live out in this area what we're going to do uh, in this section of, of the road? Of course, that's another good question. Um, we are going to uh, add uh, the most important thing, I think, for the improvement of this road is the addition of sidewalks. As, as you know, uh, there is a elementary school and a middle school right here. And so many school children walk and bike. Uh, this section of Salem. Um, and so we anticipate adding both bicycle and pedestrian access, uh, most likely via uh, wide side paths on both sides of the road. Um, as in, in addition, we'll be adding uh, curb and gutter and proper drainage to the road as well. But what I'm most excited about is the bicycle and pedestrian accessibility. On that note, um, we applied for a grant uh, to RDOT to build a sidewalk on Hark Rider uh, between Bruce and Robbins. Um, you know, some of you, you know, we're, we're anticipating that RDOT uh, will improve Hark Rider uh, between Oak Street and Bruce uh, in, I, I hope within the next three to four years. Uh, but uh, in preparation for that, we want to go ahead and build this sidewalk uh, to uh, connect Robbins and Bruce. And we, we won that award. Uh, we're at 30% design for that sidewalk right now. Uh, we're, uh, we submitted that to RDOT for review, uh, and we expect uh, construction next year on that. Um, another uh, Side path that we're working on is a, another grant project. Um, we pre completed preliminary design to build a, a side path on the north side of college here between Salem and Ferris uh, to connect to these two intersections. Um, that Metro Plan grant application was submitted in September and uh, we hope to hear back on that one soon. Uh, another one we're working on is Nutter's Chapel. Uh, down here, uh, you guys probably know that this section up here of Nutter's Chapel is improved and has curb and gutter, but the curb and gutter stops about right there. So uh, we're currently working on a design. We're about halfway done with the design to 
uh, improve this section of Nutter's Chapel uh, and include curb and gutter and sidewalks on both sides and bike lanes uh, to improve this section. And um, the, the road improvement will actually stop right here, but we will carry the sidewalks on uh, the west side to connect to this existing sidewalk and on the east side will connect to this existing sidewalk here. Uh, and we're currently working with Conway Corporation uh, to get them the information they need so they can be out of the way in time. And then lastly, um, the uh, that beautiful park project that James just got finished uh, presenting on, we're uh, working on a, another grant application. Uh, we're, work we're working on a preliminary design to do for two wooners uh, to use James's fancy term for a shared street uh, for uh, Willow and Garland between Spencer and Markham. So the northern and southern boundaries of the park are two unbuilt right of ways. And uh, we've got a, we're putting together an a future Metro Plan grant application to ask them to help us build these two shared streets here, as well as per perhaps some uh, improvements to Spencer Street to provide a uh, safe space for uh, people to interact uh, and park and go to the park. Um, so uh, that's mostly it for roadway projects. We've also got several signal projects we've been working on. Uh, I hope everybody has seen improvement to the signal timing on Dave Ward. We are wrapping that up the uh, Dave Ward Adaptive Project, uh, which was a grant application we got from Metroplan. We were awarded a similar one on Oak Street, and I'm very excited about this. Uh, we are the, the design is more than halfway done on that. Uh, the construction will start next year, uh, and uh, and, and it's going to take and probably be wrapped up by the end of the following year. It takes some time to get this installed, but I think we'll see significant improvement on the signal timing on Oak Street when that's put in. Uh, and then lastly, uh, RDOT has agreed to help us with the signal improvement at Hark Rider and Robbins. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, I saw yet another truck get hung up at this uh, railroad crossing. It continues to be a problem. Uh, so they're going to look at uh, improving this intersection to make that crossing safer. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. Um, in addition, we've got a contractor working, uh, to finish ward four pavement marking right now. Uh, once he finishes that, we will, have, uh, we will, uh, finish painting the entire city uh, in the last four years, which is great because we had a lot of streets that were in dire need of some new paint. Um, we've installed over a dozen flashing beacons. Uh, in the city. I've honestly lost count of how many we put in, but um, I think it's been somewhere around 16. Um, and those have largely been uh, in and around school zones uh, to make crossing safer for children. Um, and we're continuing to work on that. We put in more every year. Uh, we put, we've had a lot of good drainage projects. Um, we just recently um, submitted a notice of intent to apply for a FEMA grant for a drainage study downtown. Uh, and in addition, uh, we wrapped up uh, this year a state grant, which we won to acquire 10 houses that were experiencing repetitive loss near uh, Sugar Creek uh, and that were in the floodplain. Um, in addition, uh, one of the things we've been continually working on uh, since soon after the mayor uh, took office is a clearing of some major creeks and drainage ways in town that were overgrown. Uh, we've cleared over 14 miles so far, uh, and those include Gold Creek, Tucker Creek, Stone Dam Creek, Railroad Creek, and a bunch of other creeks that don't have names, and we're currently working on Stone Dam Creek. Has that been, then, done, with our, has that been done with our forces, uh, Finley, or we contracted that out? Uh, we contracted out the very first one, and uh, while that was being done, uh, we learned a lot. And then we bought our equipment and we've been doing it ourselves ever since. So uh, lastly, um, we've spent more time on sidewalks than I think uh, we ever have at the transportation department in the last four years. And, uh, you know, it, as has been the case for, for many years now, every roadway improvement that we have installed has include side, included sidewalks. We've also worked on completing some 
uh, some sections of sidewalk that were missing, such as uh, on Country Club near Julia Lee Moore. Uh, but our, our main focus has been to prioritize maintenance of the old Conway area and places where uh, the sidewalks were in, in disrepair. And so we've completed uh, maintenance projects on Prince, Davis, and Robinson. Um, and uh, we're currently uh, working on Bruce Street. And uh, to come in the next, in, in the coming years will be Scott, Oliver, Caldwell and Locust, not necessarily in that order. Um, and that is all I have. Um, but we're, we're doing a lot. Hey, Finley, it's David. Yes, hey, uh, great report. Sounds like you guys are very, very busy. Uh, you may have said this, but if all things go as planned, when will Donaghy be complete? Um, I'm going to check my notes to make sure I don't get it wrong. Uh, phase one should be completed by the fall of next year. Phase two will start uh, right around the same time, time that phase one is completed and uh, will likely have a one year time frame. So uh, it will be the fall of 2022. Okay, thank you. It sounds like from what you said in about the year 2023, Conway drivers are going to see a vastly different road system than what they have now. That sounds fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. One of the, one of the question you out, you outlined a whole bunch of projects and I'm guessing that the temporary five-year tax that was passed several years ago, that's going to raise about 25 million is going a long way to help that out. Is that correct? Certainly. Yes. Um, so the, the two largest, uh, projects that we've got going on, uh, well, Right now, um, uh, Dave Ward Drive, I'm sorry, uh, Donaghy Avenue, you know, that's, that's one, one of the most ambitious projects we've taken on in, in quite some time. And, and that one's being funded solely by that tax. Um, Salem Road, the Salem Road improvements that will follow the bridge uh, are also being funded by that tax. Uh, and then a lot of the asphalt overlays that we've uh, that we've been able to accomplish uh, you know, significantly more asphalt overlays than we've ever had before in this period of time, uh, largely as a result of that tax. Sounds great. Sounds like money well spent. Thank you. Yes, sir. Any more questions for Mr. Vince? Well, Finley, let me publicly thank you and your department for all the tremendous work you've done. Uh, you guys are, are getting it and uh, getting things done and uh, you, David, you mentioned 2023. Uh, there's a big difference now, and it, it goes to Finley and his group. I'd also like to Absolutely. thank. Uh, I'd also like to thank Mark Ledbetter and Faulkner County uh, Judge uh, Baker and, and Mark have partnered with us on several big, big projects. And without them, a lot of this wouldn't be uh, done. Rogers Group and JCI. We've just got a lot of, a lot of great partners in Conway, and uh, I appreciate all of them. Appreciate you, Finley. Yeah, thank you, sir.